On the evening of Monday, December 6th, the Orion Township Board of Trustees held its first meeting in the brand new municipal complex located on Joslin Road near Scripps. Although there are some finishing touches that still need to happen, Orion Township staff moved into the building on November 29th, and the Oakland County Sheriff's Office will be moving in soon. Every curveball that could have been thrown at us was thrown at us in this whole process, and here we are. I mean, we are virtually on schedule. We're under budget, which is, I mean, in this going through a pandemic that's never we've never lived through, at least in our lifetimes, Construction material costs tripled at times during this project. Um, trades were, you know, couldn't get people to come to work and with work stoppages. It was, the fact that we're here is, is literally uh, miraculous. <laughs> Orion Township had been operating out of its former location since 1974 with the Oakland County Sheriff's Office opening a substation in the building in 1997. Due to a wide variety of reasons, it was decided that it was time for a change. Orion Township relied on a creative revenue stream to fund the $18 million project, and dignitaries broke ground on the new facility in September of 2020. This project had been discussed since the late 90s, and the reason it could never kind of get off the ground is because it was always, how do we pay for it? And really, there's two, the, the, we got we to gotta raise taxes. We have to do a special millage or a bond. And um, this board made it pretty clear to me a few years ago, like, that wasn't going to fly. We got to find another way to do that. So we can say unequivocally that um, when you come to the counter and pay your taxes this, this December, or you know, that, that just got mailed to you, those tax dollars are not being used to fund this building. We're fully funding the, per, the construction of this building and paying it off um, through the revenue that we're getting from the landfill, from the host fee, uh, from the Eagle Valley landfill that we have, and then also from the marijuana revenues. Those two revenue streams fully fund. Uh, the servicing the bond debt, like basically our mortgage payment. So we're really excited. Um, you know, that's that's the reason a few years ago that I brought the concept of bringing these marijuana facilities to the township board. It was a little risky at the time, uh, but the reason we did that was because we were going to generate revenue in order to pay for this building that we need, desperately needed. This place smells amazing. <laughs> and the reason we needed to move out of that old complex was it was not healthy in the environment. There was a lot of smells there that were old. There was some mold, no black mold, but it was old. And we needed to make some changes that way. But brand new heating and cooling, brand new environment for our residents to come into just makes it inviting and warm. And I do remember the orange carpet and there was an old, old orange vinyl couch in the employee break room. So I've been there since 89, so I remember some changes taking place from then till now, and it's been phenomenal. Chris Barnett has done an awesome job just facilitating this, and he's been really the driving force behind this. Orion Township plans on hosting a grand opening and open house sometime at the beginning of the new year, and are planning to demolish the previous building in February or March of 2022. The grounds will become part of the existing Civic Center Park. In Orion Township, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News. Aye. Aye. We're opposed. We are adjourned.